What's up, everyone? It's DJ B.I.G. here with DJ Ecstatic, New Down Productions. We're, there you go, I was going to DJ Ecstatic. Good, good, just driving, bro, heading to the gig. There you go, guys, heading to the gig. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. If you wanna learn all about the mobile DJ industry, uh, we're actually on our way. It's actually DJ Ecstatic's gig. I, it's been a while since we've actually dj together, like from the beginning of a gig to the end of the gig. Yeah. Usually, like, I'll finish a gig and then I'll come help him out after, or like maybe he'll come by my party, help him out after. But today we're actually gonna be setting up and DJing the from from the beginning of the party to the end. It's a, it's a in Abbotsford, British Columbia. So this is the DJ gig log for Abbotsford, BC today. Yeah. Uh, the Indian wedding reception. Uh, you know, it's gonna be quite a bit of people. Looking forward to it. Quite a big setup today as well. There's a running full sound system today as well. You got screens, you got like you got memes, all that stuff too. There all the good stuff. All the goodies. All the goodies, <laughs> all the all the bells and whistles, okay? So we got screens, totem stands, we got intimidator, beam spotlights, moving heads, two lasers, not one but two lasers, right? Two hazer machines, water-based. Uh, starlight curtain, I think white, right? It's white, yeah. So white starlight curtain. Man. You got vinyl dance floor wrap vinyl too. Vinyl dance floor wrap, there's, there's yeah. a lot going on. So, you know, also, again, awesome. These clients decided that, hey, we're gonna get our own power. So they have their own backup generator for us, which is awesome. Yeah, which is always ideal, especially in uh, farmland. You know, sometimes uh, they don't have enough power at the shack that they have there. And, you know, something. sometimes they have tell the client uh, to have a backup source for uh, power. Yeah. So nothing, you know, goes out. But hopefully, you know, there are chances that stuff does happen. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen today. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not uh, hoping it happens today. That's for sure. That's why we always double check. Like, even with the uh, electrical, like, we definitely want to give the sound, like, one really big sound check at the start same with all the lights running at full, like pretty much full capacity with the hazers and everything you just want to double check um yeah like i said we're on actually a farm today in abbotsford you know it's going to be a pretty pretty awesome party looking forward to it um you know any any uh anything you want to share with any of your past gigs uh jamie well, yeah that you've been doing we've done uh plenty of gigs intense lately instead of halls because you know covid and all the regulations and rules mm -hmm. so um yeah tents are good but uh it seems that you need to do more prepping if you have a tent um at your house for your functions you have to make sure from the power the floor the sound like lighting like food catering all that stuff there's so much more to do because in a hall you know everything's set up there for you right they have some lighting they have power there. They have the cater. They you know foods at the halls themselves. They provide that, right? So you know, it's 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 more of a pain in a tent, but at at the same time, it's more fun because it's at your house at, exactly. at times, right? Yeah, yeah cause uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, it's definitely <laughs> way more of a challenge when you're trying to do a. a doing a, a an event outside of a venue yeah. like not like a banquet hall or you know when you're doing everything mobile like actual mobile exactly. djing right it's definitely more tricky there's definitely a lot more things that can go wrong like i'm always paranoid about the about the power yeah. sometimes i don't even mind hooking up extra stuff for a client but in most time they you know in most cases they don't have enough power at home yeah so like we really can't take that chance it's even though we want to but it's yeah. always good to have extra stuff you know all the time you know because you never know especially when you're going all the way to Abbotsford like we're in Surrey right so yeah. we always make sure to have extra equipment extra stuff just in case because we don't want to go all the way back because that's another hour lost right yeah, I definitely can't go back no. <laughs> once you're gone out of the house yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it there's no turning back exactly. at that point you better make a cable or something or <laughs> yeah or something, exactly right but yeah, it's, it's always brutal. You, everyone's been through it where you'll like forget something, not super important, but like something like, oh man. Yeah. And then you're just like, damn. And then it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> I even got a speaker today that, you know, might potentially blow. We don't know. It's all good though. Yeah, it's going to be really, uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to be cranking it up to see what happens. 
<laughs> but we, we're equipped with more speakers and equipment, like sound system. We always bring sure. extra. Yeah, always course. bring extra if gear. Goes, we're good. You we gotta be prepared. Yeah. Yeah, that's super important, right? You never know. Sometimes things happen. Like we were at a venue where the power did go out. I was at somebody's house. It was a house party in Surrey, like a month ago, and the power went out. Not the reception when I was telling you. This is a different reception, actually, at somebody's house, but. Yeah, power went out, and then I guess, like, I don't know if my speaker short-circuited or something. Something happened, but basically, it was not good. And the speaker got repaired now, though, but just something to take into consideration sometimes, you know? And then we're almost here at this venue. Any last pieces you want to add here, Jamie? DJ Ecstatic? Just, uh, make sure you book us on a There you go. The information will be down below, guys. All right? So, you know, we got, like, a good hour and a half to set up. We're probably not going to be vlogging during the uh, event just because it gets so busy, but we will be definitely having that cinematic highlight reel for you guys. You never know. There might there might be a little vlog in this episode at the party. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Right? We got some time, but maybe we might even interview another vendor. You never know. All right? But keep it locked. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, guys. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Q-John Productions. Peace out. Peace out.